So I'm going to make a template to go on top of here. Cut a piece of board the same as this. That's the same as that. So I want to square this corner up a little bit. And then I want my curve like that. I think. So I'll work that out. Right, like I say, I'm going to take that cone off. I think I want my curve to start. Start about there, I think. So. 50 mil. That's about 50 mil. So what I need is a centre line. And I want my curve to come in by about that. That's what I was saying before. So what I need now is a centre line. So use my compass. Like that. that's square to that I need to make another one I need to connect that to that this is the same for any circle if you had a circle you draw two lines like that through it and then do what I'm doing find the square off those Wherever they meet, that is your radius. So I need to square this one off. Where's my compass gone? I put that in there. Try and join them up. So from that point there, where they join up, to there, that should be my radius. It's got a little pin. Could do it the other way, of course. Yeah, 
clear enough. So now I want, I want a piece of timber going all the way through, it's thick enough to be the rail, remember the brace, to be thick enough for the brace. I want enough curve as well, so what I need to do is work that out, whatever that is, 90 mil. 90 90 join them two together I should have made this further down so I locked all to my screw saying that That'll be the same as that. So now I can make another one. There. So now I've got my curve. All right, so now I've got my curve. Cut that out. And I'm going to use that as a template to cut these. All right, so it should finish something like that. So put a 45 on this end. Got enough room to get a bolt in. But then I should have that line. Best part of two inch running through there. It's working as a brace. So I'll sand that up, screw it to them. Right now I need to cut this out. I don't have a bandsaw, so I'm going to use my router with this template. I could have got away with 6 inch timber, but I prefer to have too much. I'm going to rip this down a bit, cut some off, and then carefully cut this out with router. this 50 mil flush trim cutter in here and get down so far with this but then I might have to turn it over I bought myself a new cutter this bearings on the bottom so I can flip it over and finish off the cut with that I could have got one of these that's 65 mil long which would probably have done the whole thing but my old router there hasn't got variable speed on it, so I don't know how it might flop around too much. We'll see how far I can get with that. I could put a 65mm cutter in the in the table router. That's got variable speed on it, but I'm just going to freehand cut it. Work my way down until I get to a point where I can run the bearing up against this.
Start running it up against the jig now. I'm only about 8mm short and the cutter's almost all the way in so I think I'm going to risk it and see if I can extend this 18, 8mm right, I've extended it about as far as I dare bit of vibration Marvellous. Well, I'll let the router slip a little bit there, but it's within sandable distance. That's all right. Yeah, getting there. Just need to trim these back into tenons. And I haven't decided if I'm going to square that corner off yet, like I did on there. Give it a good sand. I think I probably will. Right, so the second one's done. I've cut these tenons. I'm still not happy with the thickness of them, but once I get a long coat spot through there, I've got some longer ones than this. I'll get a nice big coat spot through there. Same at the top. I don't think it'll go anywhere. Gonna number these. And I'll number these because I'll have to take it to bits. I'll number everything. Mark on where they are, square them round, cut some little mortises. This one that big knot came back to bite me. It's not too bad. And like I say, the majority of the wood has the grain going straight through and it's this piece here that's doing the work so that knot will miss I'll get them cut and lots of sanding and some glue right, I've squared them over I'm going to cut them out with about a bit but before I take this one out, I'm curious as how much was left in the in the collet there. So that's a few mils short. So I'll take that out and I block. Well, the answer is 
not a lot, probably not enough. So I don't recommend that. Quite good of these machines, but the collet's 20, 25 mil. That's the collet off there. There's my mark. And it's just shy of that. So you see, not all the way in. So no, I don't recommend that. You want it, you want the bottom to be at least there, I guess. I turned both of these timbers around. I had them the wrong way around earlier. So we've got a nice face on the front here. But they came together okay. We'll tighten up with a screw. I've got some longer coach bolts in the van. I'm tempted just to put it straight through there. I'd have some decent timber to screw into but if this brace is going to go anywhere it'll go that way down you know it'll sag down same with that one it'll go out so I reckon if I put it like that it's pushing against that bolt same there if I do that it's pushing against that if I put it through the face there I've got to fill it mm. can't decide I've got to fill this knot but because it's a cup shape I'm going to drill some little holes that help the filler stick to it Time for some glue. I've sanded just the face of these 
I'll sand that bit when it goes together because there'll be glue and stuff. These braces, still got to fill the pin holes, but I've sanded it all around. Filled that that knot and put a little round on the edges. D. I've transferred the marks to where they're not going to be seen. And I still can't decide where I'm going to put that bolt. If I put it through there, I've got the mortise just here. So when that goes through, it'll just be... be going into that piece of wood there if I put it in from behind like that the head of this bolt will be just on that piece of wood that's only about that thick so I'm gonna glue it together and then make that decision. I'm tempted just to go with the easy route, go through the face. We'll see. I'm going to use PU glue again. Paul mentioned that you can get this online cheap, so I've ordered a tub. But that was Tuesday, and it's not coming till Saturday, so I'm not very good at that. I normally need it now because I only find out that it's empty now.
I'll fill these holes and I'll be ready to sand later. Right, I'll put some clear treatment on them and maybe a coat of paint start fitting it under. Get a bit that way up. 